Okay, this time before we start, we would like to make two important announcements. First, our sincere apologies for wrongly introducing Sora as a Japanese company in our previous videos. Sora is a US company with its leading technology on LED chip manufacturing and is a well recognized brand among the lighting professionals. Second, we are pleased to update that Sora had evaluated our DSAT 3G450 DIAL and will publish into its port compatibility table soon. We'll be providing details once it's available. And now let's get back to our video. There are actually two types of LED ML16 or GU5.3 available from Sora. In our previous videos, we introduced the constant current version, which is powered by a constant current LED drive externally. The 12 volt version is more popular, and as mentioned before, there's potentially a backward compatibility issue between this type of light bulb and electronic transformers to be aware of. From this compatibility table, we selected two electronic transformers to do our comparison, we're going to, and we're going to use the constant current version as our baseline for comparing the demand performance. Also, for our easy comparison, we have both types of LDMR 16s with the same lighting specifications, and both are 2700K with the CRI, CRIF95, and both are dimmed by our DSAT 3G450 DIAL simultaneously. Again, on the left, we have the constant current version, and on the right, we have the trouble version. So let's start with the OSRAM ETLD30. We can see that although the ET30 can also tend to a low level, the travel is much shorter as compared to the constant current version. This is very similar to what we've done before with another brand. It works, but not attractive. In the following, we're going to change to the BLV4560201, which is a 0 to 105 watt electronic transformer. In the following, you will see that the BLB Turbo Electronics Transformer is capable of producing a deep dimming performance compatible to the constant current setup, which we have the HEP 10 watts driver as our baseline. This definitely shows the significance of electronic transformers to the overall dimming event. Now the next common question is how many number of lamps can be connected to our single dimmer? Without getting into the inverse current calculation details, we will suggest a typical of 8 to 10 of 7 watt LDMR 16 lamps per hour actual project experience. Earlier on, we have tested a single dimmer with three of the same setup. It's possible to have more, but it's way up for theory evaluation to find out. Note, adding too many lamps to our dimmer will eventually result in our device protection and light shut off until the excessive heat is dissipated. In such cases, take note of whether our blue LED indicator will be flashing, which shows a fault scenario and can be assigned for overload. And if overload, Users are advised to split the loading and share by different dimmer modules. In our case, it is very easy to install a separate module on a multi gang plate than making a new hole on the wall just to install another dimmer. So in conclusion, with the right products, we have shown that both types of Sora LDMR16 lamps can produce competing dimming performance. Since this Crawford electronics transformer solution is also applicable to AR111, we now have satisfactory phase dimming solution for applications using electronic transformer such as Trobo MR16 or AR111, or using external constant current driver or constant current version of the MR16, or direct connection like the GU10. It's left to the lighting professionals to decide which solution for the next lighting projects. Please come back to us for more detailed announcements of our engagement with Sora. And to learn more about our demand technology and product benefits, please check out other videos and series. Once again, thank you for watching.